Guys, it's time to make the auto watering system for plants. Yeah, in the bomb, right, audience? Guys, so this plant has no water while this one does. And this plant is crying because it has no water. And we need to fix that problem. As you can see, that the plant is crying and it's showing a sad face on the micro bit. But that should change once we put the soil moisture sensor in the other plant. So now let's move it. Oh, and this is the soil moisture sensor. Now let's put it here. As you can see, it just became a very happy face because it has water and it's all good. Oh. So it has water and it's all good and it's living a very happy life with its water. That is why it is happy. Guys, now back to the problem. So, of course, we have the problem of the plant being sad because it got no water, which we have to fix. Of course, this is when our big old friend, submersible pump, comes to save the day. So, what we're going to do, put the submersible pump here. It will start adding water into the tube. Then I have to make sure the tube goes directly here. And let's just try that. So, first of all, let's connect the energy. Boom. Guys, the soil moisture sensor is detecting that the plant is crying. It has no water. Well, let our big old friend here, submersible pump, come and save the day. Again. Or is this the first time? Guys, I think we should put this higher just so the pump can work better, I guess. So, let's do just that. Now, make sure you look at the tube and the micro bit. And here goes nothing. And here comes the water. As you guys can see, water is coming out of the tube. And see, oh, now the water stopped coming because the micro bit sent a signal to the submersible pump and said, hey, we're all good. We don't need no more water. It's all fine. And as you guys can see, the plant is officially happy again because it now has water and it's all good. And guys, as you guys can see, the submersible pump stopped working. It's in the water. Why does it stop? Why are you stopping? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the micro bit is sending a signal to the submersible pump saying that it's all okay. It's all fine. The plant is happy now because it has water. We don't need any more to overflow the system. This is a perfect amount. And guys, stay tuned because I will be showing you how to make all of this from step to step until you reach this masterpiece. Okay guys, so we use the smart home kit to make the auto watering system for plants. And I'm gonna be needing some components from the smart home kit. So let's open it up, why don't we? So, of course, as usual, here is the manual. And let's see, what do we have right here? Okay guys, so this kit provides us with the components of light sensor, noise sensor, soil moisture sensor, OLED screen, 180 servo, relay, crash sensor, temperature sensor, rainbow LED, submersible pump, and motor with fan. And now, here are all of the components in the kit that are here. And you guys may realize that some of the components on the manual are not actually in the kit. It's because there is a whole nother layer to the kit. And the components on that layer are the fan. The fan is here while the motor is here. And also the submersible pump and the 180 servo. Oh, and there's also a battery holder. Pretty cool. Oh, and guys, for our auto watering system for plants, we're gonna be needing the components of sensor bit, relay, soil moisture sensor, and submersible pump. Oh, and guys, how can I forget the most important component, which is micro bit. Guys, we're gonna be needing to get this bad boy separately. Okay, so we're gonna be needing to grab the jumper wire, and we're also gonna be needing the soil moisture sensor. So, what we're gonna be needing to do is make sure that the jumper wire is on this side, and we carefully connect it to the soil moisture sensor. Then the second part is grabbing the sensor bit. Then we're gonna be needing to put it on P2. So we're gonna be needing to connect the second part of the jumper wire on the number two. And make sure all the colors go the same way they're really supposed to. I meant that the yellow wire should be in the front, the red one in the middle, and the black one at the end. And now the second part of our plan is by grabbing the other jumper wire and connecting it to the relay. So let's do just that. Same thing. We're gonna be needing to put this part of the jumper wire right here. 
Okay, and what we need to do is connect this part of the jumper wire to the sensor bit. But instead of the number two, we're gonna be needing to connect it to the number one. Here we go. So, of course, the relay is connected to number one, while the soil moisture sensor is connected to number two. And now the third part of our plan is connecting this black wire from the submersible pump to the sensor bit right over here, the last ground. And this red wire from the submersible pump will be connected to the relay. Okay guys, now what we're gonna be needing to do, we're gonna be connecting this wire, this red wire, right over here on the red. And we will be connecting it to the relay. Oh. And then we're gonna be needing to do this. Oh, and guys, I forgot the most important component again. The micro bit. We have to put the micro bit into the sensor bit like this. But be careful just because micro bit is very important. And here is the micro bit placed into the sensor bit. Guys, when people hear the word relay, all they can think about is thunder, lightning, shocking. I'm joking. You don't need to worry. The relay only has five volts, which is incredibly low. So it shouldn't even hurt. And if you guys don't know what a relay is, this is a relay. And guys, this specific relay has only five volts. And it can work on any battery type, which is so cool. And guys, the parts you've been waiting for for the video coding! guys I'm gonna show you the code for the auto watering system for plants right now but before we get to that I want to show you how I did it guys I'm using make code and make a very easy platform for programming micro bits guys make code is actually owned by Microsoft and here is the icon for Microsoft and now let's jump right into the code why don't we okay so this is the code it's very easy very simple to make and the first step to it is saying if the soil moisture sensor detects more than 500 then it should stop all water from going to the plant and the reason to this is because the plant will already have water and when the soil moisture detects that on your micro bit it should show a heart or whatever you want that shows yes it's all okay we're good and if you guys want you don't need to be using the heart you can be using anything else so you can click on the heart and you can use all of these things can use a check mark to say yeah no need for water here or like a smiley face to to say we're happy with all the water we got else if the soil moisture sensor detects less than 500 then it should start making a ding sound repeating just so we can come here and give the plant all the water that it potentially needs and on the micro bit it will start showing a sad face and you can change the sad face to an x you know we're not happy we don't got no water so x not a good service and of course we can also hear the melody that it will be showing that's the bedding melody. We can also change it to a uh, wedding. <laughs> well, like, I'm not sure this is the correct sound. Okay, so, um, let's try going for something else. What about a power down? Yeah, let's hear this. We power down. We keep powering down. We got no water, we can't live. What about a jump down? What does this mean? Hmm. I guess that's it for the melodies. And that's really it for this code. So uh, the code is very simple and very easy. And of course you can change the icons if you want it to either be happy if it has enough water and sad if it doesn't have enough. And of course you can also change the melodies to any sound that you potentially want. And that will be it for today, guys. And guys, stay tuned because we have many more videos to come. So subscribe, hit that notification bell and leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. And by that means, I'll be seeing you guys in another video. Bye-bye. Thank you